Welcome! In this video, I'll be showing you the changes to the audio modes and the class views for learners in version 3.1. First, the audio mode button has moved from the right side of the instructor toolbar in 3.0 to the left side of the instructor toolbar in 3.1. A new feature in 3.0 is the visual display of which participant is speaking when the class is in room mode, while not on the podium. This small window appears with the name of the participant, so you don't have to scan the gallery or page through, and is especially useful in a large class. In 3.0, when you change the audio mode, a pop-up within the button appears to all users to highlight that the audio mode has changed, and lets users know how that mode works. In 3.1, a pop-up window appears in the middle of the screen to inform learners about the change and how that mode works. In 3.0, when the instructor switches from room to table mode, the table mates panel automatically opens on the right side. In 3.1, when the instructor switches from room to table mode, the table mates panel still automatically opens on the right side. However, learners will no longer have the option to choose the class gallery in the main frame. If nothing is being shared, their default view will be the tables view. Instructors and TAs will still be able to see the class gallery in table mode, so you can all see the participants, their engagement, and speaking markers. We've made these improvements to the views for learners in table mode to make them more connected to their table mates and reduce confusion when they can only speak to and be heard by their table mates. Now that you've seen the audio modes and the improvements, we hope you jump in and try it today.